Hey Ross, bro, my money makes money. M1 Finance is a beast. Okay, you've been telling me for about a year now. M1 Finance is a beast. I'm on the bad wagon. I done drunk the Kool-Aid and I'm going to tell you all about it. This is a full review. Now, it's going to be quick. It's going to be fast, but I won't hurry through it. But I'm going to tell you as much as I can with some notes and some comparing websites like the Investor Junkie, the College Investor Junkie, and the Cash Cow Couple, just to name a few. But I like the way that some of these investing review places, I like the way that they put it in a particular order, so I will be using a certain order format that you may be familiar with. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's jump right into it. M1 Finance is a robo-investor, is a robo-investor. It has all types of investment for your delicious money, okay? For all the money you want to invest and also your retirement accounts, it has trust. I'm gonna go over it. I'm just so excited for you to hear this. Now, they base their things off what they call Martin Portfolio Theory. That's MPT, guys. Don't forget, this is a robo-advisor with some advanced algorithms. I'm not gonna bore you with all the little stuff, but one of the main things I need to point out right here, right now, it's free. Is every single thing inside of M1 Finance free? No but a lot of it is. So here we go. Minimum investment, zero. Fees are none. Here are the accounts that they have. Now, taxable means your individual account, that's the account that you're actually trying to have for growth. A joint account, a Roth IRA, traditional RRA, rollover IRA, the SCP IRA, that's your self-employed, okay? And then your trust, 401k, Assistance, no. So moving right along, M1 Finance makes all trades at nine o'clock central time. Too easy. Now, when it comes to dividends, they reinvest your dividends once your dividends has reached $10. They automatically reinvest inside the account that you have. When it comes to tax reporting, they use H&R Block along with TurboTax, which they are integrated in. This is absolutely phenomenal. When you're talking about accounts, guys, when you're talking about accounts, they have free consultation. You call them up and they will walk you around their platform absolutely free. Here's another kicker. M1 Finance has nearly 2,000 ETFs. That is those exchange traded funds that I'm always talking about. If you don't know what an ETF is, basically it's a bunch of stocks in a fund that they hold that are really solid, not like a mutual fund. A mutual fund, they're always changing the stocks around for you to get the best return, but they have high fees and it's actively managed where ETFs and index funds are passively managed. Look that up. Here we go, account protection. Under the SIPC, I have gave you the definition, the acronym, I gave you all this information before. It covers up to a half a million dollar, including a quarter million in cash. Now, here's another great thing. The investment categories, okay? The investment categories. I'm gonna run right through this. General investing is a diverse portfolio based on your own risk tolerance. You set the risk, it's all on you. Plan for retirement, invest for your target retirement, okay? Responsible investing, options for the social responsible investor, okay? Income earners, all right? That moolah, that cheese, builds a portfolio based on dividends and income returns. Hedge fund followers, okay? Hedge fund followers mimics investment strategies from some of the most successful investors and reputable hedge funds, okay? That's sort of insurance for your stocks. These masterminds who's making all this money even when the market is going to crack. Industrials and sectors enables you to invest in specific sectors. You gotta love it. Just stocks and bonds, one of my favorite, I'm heavy on the stocks at 90 and I'm 10 on the bonds. Builds a diverse portfolio with two ETFs focused on stocks and bonds. They have all these different allocations, you know, 90, 10, and 80, 20, and 70, 30, and so on and so forth. Your own risk tolerance once again. Then other strategies, additional investment strategies to help you find what works best for you. Now they have all these pies and stuff, but I'm gonna get right into the app and go over some things very, very quickly so you can be excited as I am.
So now that I'm on the app, I have to explain something that's very simple but can be complicated for some, but nevertheless, they have these options where you can do your own pie and you fill your pie with different ETFs. Like I said, nearly 2,000 of these. So some people can choose the pie to be 70 to 30, which account for 50% of a custom pie. What does that mean? You're mixing and matching how you want things to be. So this is one of the downsides before I really get dig deep into the app and go over all this other information, but I'm gonna do it very quickly so you don't lose interest. The one downside is tax minimization. Now, this is something that Wealthfront has over M1 Finance because M1 does not offer tax logs harvesting, okay? So that's one of the things that they really have over them. But other than that, M1 Finance is killing the game. So when we look at certain things, the one thing you're trying to figure out, say there's no fees, there's no minimum balance, but this is the thing. But when you look at M1 Finance, you know, in comparison with the other robot advisors, here are some of the pros that I actually like. Now, they don't have fees or any commission broker prices, no minimum initial deposit, but you can open your account with no money at all, but you have to begin investing when your account reaches $100. So you can put money in there, but it won't start investing until you reach $100. It's the minimum, guys. They actually want to get some serious people, just like Wellfront with $500. Select your own investment. We went over it. No trade commissions. We went over it. No cash investments. Once your account has at least $10 of cash, it will automatically be invested. Did I contradict myself? I did. So disregard what I said. And then fractional shares. We talked about fractional shares when we talked about Acorns. We talked about fractional shares when we were talking about Stash individual stocks and we're not talking about funds. But the funds on Stash ETFs are fractional. Did I lose you? Fractional shares. Now, some of the cons, the app to me, in my opinion, which I really didn't read, you can get kind of lost in the sauce with some of the numbers until you actually go inside of that particular fund. Okay. It's not an interactive app. It's not for day traders. Also, there's no tax. There's no tax harvesting. And then there's no mutual funds for people who want to pay all those fees. Now, let's get right into the app. So now that we're into this app, we have to really look at it. They have these sections that you can add slices to this big, enormous pie. You have to think that every column that you see once you open up the app is a piece of the pie that you can add. Right now, you have an empty pie. You just have the, you have the shell. You have the pan of a pie, okay? You don't even have a crust. So you might have to build your crust, your fillings, your toppings, etc. right? So stocks, it has a whole list of stocks like Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, which is Google, Microsoft, Alibaba, Facebook, JP Morgan, Johnson & Johnson, Visa, Berkshire & Hathaway, Walmart, Wells Fargo, Intel, AT&T, Chevron, United Health, Cisco Systems, Pfizer, Home Depot, MasterCard, just to name a few. Then the next column has a slew of funds like the SP DNR S&P 500 video that I'm gonna come out with to teach you guys about SPDR shares, those index ETFs, okay? Then iShares that the Black Rock Corporation actually produces, then the almost famous Vanguard stocks. Those are these funds, and then you have your power shares, just to name a few. I have all sorts of ETFs and index funds. Then you have your expert pies, where these guys actually created pies for you, for you to invest in. Like general investing, okay? Easy to create a diversified portfolio and set it to your own personal risk tolerance. Plan for retirement. Invest for your target retirement date and a portfolio that adjusts to your goals as you age. Responsible investing, income earners, industries and sectors, just stocks and bonds, went over it. Then you have your watch list to certain funds or stocks that you're watching. And then my pies is the pies that you actually created. This is N1 Finance. Check out my link below. Go ahead and join M1 Finance for absolutely free and start creating your own pie. Apple pie, uh, fried chicken pie, okay, pot pie. It doesn't matter what pie it is. M1 Finance is a beast, okay? It's free for majority of all its services. And you know what? I just woke up to it. I finally gave it my own thorough look through because I said, hey, M1 Finance, I got all these other robot investors that I'm actually investing in. I had it take it through the stringent process. 
I do with each op like I did Acorns, like I did Wellfront, like I did Stash, and like how I did the most famous and infamous Robin Hood. And I promise you, M1 Finance and Stash should be, if they want to compete with Robin Hood, they should come out with a cryptocurrency department within their app so you guys can invest in that. Me, I'm done with the whole cryptocurrency thing. I'm gonna keep it real. I invest into two ETFs for blockchain technology and I'll leave it like that. The tickers are BLCN, the other one is BLOK for those blockchain ETFs for those companies. This is Ross World. Man, M1 Finance, I wonder why they named it M1 Finance. Room, because they're passing every damn body. Hey, you better get on the ball game. M1 Finance, I'm out.